Hey YouTube, what's up? So I'm back for another video. It's been a while, maybe a month now, and I just put in two new fish. Um, I want you know, I say they're new, um, but I've had them for about three weeks now in quarantine, my 20-gallon uh, long quarantine tank, and I've been medicating them there, and they are doing fantastic. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys these real quick. Um, up here, we've got my Royal Pencil Rass. Um, now, uh, you guys can't really tell the colors right now because the actinics are just on. Um, for me, when I put in new fish, I like to keep the actinics on and then turn the whites on later. It's a little bit more, um, uh, a little less stressful, uh, stressful in my opinion. Um, but yeah, he's doing fantastic. A lot of you guys might remember my old pencil wrasse, um, that I had in here. And he was just my favorite fish I've ever kept. And, uh, this guy showed up at my fish store and, uh, I watched him there for, for weeks and he was eating great. And uh, I said, so I really couldn't resist taking him home. And he's doing amazing, you know. The Mel Nurse did pick at him a little bit. Um, up here I have some live brine. Um, they're not going to be in here for a while. You know, they're going to stand here for just a couple days. So I really don't need a sponge filter or anything. Um, but yeah, I fed him that. Um, he was eating. Oh, there goes my little fairy wrasse. Uh, definitely smaller. Definitely taking a little bit more from the... Uh, Mel Nurse Rasp, but this guy's awesome too. He's uh, What I like about him is he has different markings on his side. He has that one that's just the black lines, and that one's kind of broken up, so it looks like spots. Um, he's a little Lubbock's Fairy Rass. And uh, really, the uh, Pencil Rass only got his tail nipped a couple times from the Mel Nurse, but he's not really doing too much. Uh, but yeah, overall, everyone's kind of pretty much getting along fine. I mean, the, the these guys have only been here for about an hour now, so they're all kind of getting used to things. The pencil wrasse is doing pretty much uh, better than expected because usually fish, especially uh, pencil wrasse, I've noticed dive into the sand as soon as you put them in. Um, but he's doing great. He's just swimming up, he's eating and all that. Um, there's a pajama cardinal over there and of course the malnourished wrasse which you've seen already in the video. Um, but yeah, I mean the tank is doing good right now. I mean um, I won't be putting any more and put be putting in any more fish uh, for the simple fact that I just ordered my tank and uh, I'll show you guys that um, probably in the you know in a couple in a week or two I'll show you the new tank and it's just awesome I'm so excited uh, and of course like I've said about a million times these guys are doing great I'm really excited to have them in the tank. Um, now I know a lot of people tell you that. Uh, you know, when you have marine velvet outbreaks, in any outbreak really, uh, you should replace the sand, <coughs> rinse out the live rock, change out the water. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do at all. In fact, I'd probably, if I had the means to do it, um, I would do it myself. But for me, uh, the tank ran for like a month uh, with no... Um, usually that's about it. I mean, you run the tank for a month and usually the disease is out by then. Um, I ran it like a month. Um, and just the two fish in here, the Melnurus Rass Dexter and Teddy the Pajama Cardinal. And, uh, of course, they didn't get it, so there's really no host for the uh, marine velvet to cling on to. Um, so hopefully it all died off, and if it didn't, if I do see it come up, um, I'll just, uh, you know, rinse off the live rock. I have to replace the sand bed anyways for the new tank, but yeah, uh, a lot of stuff coming. I mean, there's tons and tons of new videos coming, guys. Um, <laughs> unbelievable, really, I mean... Um, especially since my last series of videos, uh, which were not the happiest, most upbeat videos. I mean, I have a lot of good uh, educational videos to come, a lot of tank tips I have ready. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm really, really excited for these uh, next couple of weeks uh, to a month. It's going to be a lot of exciting stuff going on as far as fish tanks in my life. Um, but yeah, uh, like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you have, I really do appreciate it. Thanks for all the support I've been getting from you guys. Um, you know, I, I really, really do appreciate it. I want to thank you guys for that. Um, real quick, I want to mention down here, I have some Catamorpha. I picked this up from my local fish store. There really wasn't much more room in the refugium. Um, but I'm kind of trying to stock up on Catamorpha. I'm kind of trying to mature that and have it grow out so that when I get the new larger tank and the larger uh, sump, which will have a larger refugium, I'll be able to put in more you know, balls of Catamorpha. So I just have this in here. And I don't have any tangs or blennies or anything that are going to try to eat up that. Um, so that's just sitting in there. Um, the urchin hasn't messed with it or anything. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of getting uh, sidetracked. You can see that he's 
right up here. Now I'm a little bit worried that he might jump. Um, I have actually sent in an order for um, from Bulk Resupply for their uh, you know netting, their screen covers, um, because I don't want fish to be jumping out. For especially you know I love this guy. Um, I plan on getting some uh, a group of blue gudgeon dartfish, uh, maybe a, a, a hell freaky uh, firefish. Um, a lot of jumping fish, um, so I want to be able to get a screen top on there as soon as possible to prevent any, uh, you know, mishaps. Uh, but yeah, I really do appreciate it. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you have anything to say at all. Um, things are going great, and uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope all your tanks are doing good. Hope you guys are quarantining. Hope you guys are staying disease-free, and uh, hope your fish are healthy as can be. Uh, have a nice day. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.